Today we're going to talk about how to de-restrict your motorcycle. So previously uh, to Euro 5 motorcycles, it was fairly easy to de-restrict your motorcycle. So if it had a carburetor, sometimes, especially like on the Lexmoto Hunter, they would make this part longer. So if you chop the top off, Lexmoto Hunter, Lexmoto Aspire, it meant that you can accelerate, uh, twist the grip a little bit more and it would reach higher up, i.e. letting more fuel through to the engine, making it rev higher. Two strokes, they used to have uh, sometimes a washer in the bottom of the carburetor and that would stop more fuel going through to the engine. And with a two stroke as well, sometimes they had a washer somewhere along the exhaust pipe to reduce the amount of gases that can go out. This is all changed now. Um, if it was a scooter as well, you would have a variator. And sometimes what they would do is when you accelerate your bike, this uh, variator pushes out your scooter, the variator pushes out and the belt will ride up or down depending on how fast you're going, increasing the gears with this. This is uh, pretty much infinite gears and it is called a CV drive. One way that you can change this to make your bike go faster is change the weight on the rollers. Now there's six of these in here. The rollers, what happens is as the uh, variator speeds up, the rollers will move up and push this plate out so letting the um, letting the belt go further down increasing the speed now if you make these lighter they will go up slower and if you make them heavier they will go up heavier so one way will give you more torque if it's if it's lighter it'll give you more torque if it's heavier it'll give you more top end speed but if you're doing this if you gain more top end speed you lose the lower end torque and if you gain more lower end torque you lose the top end speed so you're never actually creating any more power you're just changing it slightly the way that it's done nowadays on a euro 5 motorcycle most of them have these which is an ECU. Another way on the Euro 4 motorcycles to increase the power was to change the CDI to a sports one. You can't do that anymore. Things have changed. So uh, the law states that a, any Euro 5 motorcycle must have an ECU that you can plug an OBD reader into it, regardless of whether it's a 50cc, 125 or anything bigger they all have to be able to plug into an OBD reader which is something like this issue with this is that if you don't have the map to remap it and most people will not give it to you you can't de-restrict your bike you can't do anything to it to make it go faster because the rev limiter on the ECU will stop the bike going any faster some of them do it on the um, revs some of them do it on the gears and some of them do it on the speed but in essence it all goes back to this which is your ECU now a Yamazaki these are located here and that's on the Yamazaki YM50 now there is one bike or one series of bikes that do not restrict it like this which is the Yamazaki F series so all of them are restricted on the front sprocket only so if you change the front sprocket to a 13 tooth it will increase the top end speed and it will make that fourth gear a little bit more useful if you did decide you wanted to remap uh, the YM50 is 99 pounds you send it into cheap bikes for us or whatever your local dealer is and they will use this device and the maps to remap it so that it removes the rev limiter from 7,000 RPM and it puts it up to 12,000. There is some legal precedence with this sort of stuff and you have to take this into consideration if you are doing this. Number one, any modifications made to your bike do change the category of your bike. So at the minute, if your motorbike goes 30 miles an hour or scooter or anything that's classed as a moped goes 30 miles an hour, it is classed as a moped in the UK. If you modify it and increase the power, it is no longer classed as a moped, it is classed as a 50cc motorcycle, which comes under a different category. And at 16 years old, or using your grandfather's rights, you are not allowed to use a 50cc motorcycle. 
Also, you do have to tell your insurance company that you changed the type of vehicle it is because otherwise it's classed as a non-sanctioned non -sanctioned modification. And also, if the police stop you, they can take it in for testing and check whether it did more than 30 miles an hour. A little bit's fine, so 32, 33, or going downhill, you're gonna get gravity's assistance on that and you are gonna get quite a lot faster. But on average, it needs to go around 30 to 32 miles an hour to be legal in the UK. As I say, the police can take it away, they can do testing. Sometimes they do have devices on the side of the road, where like a rolling road, and they'll test it there. If you are found to be riding a bike that is de-restricted, they can legally take it off you, and they will legally take it off you. That being said, if you're not riding like an idiot, most of the time they leave you alone. Now, um, when you turn 17, it is a legal modification to make on your 50cc motorcycle or scooter, but you still have to tell your insurance company because it's still classed as a modification and you will be, your insurance will be void if you do so. So yeah, take all this into consideration if you do actually modify your motorcycle. I'm not saying that 16 year olds don't do it because I'm pretty sure they do. But yeah, you have to take all these legal ramifications into mind if you decide to do this. I'm suggesting you don't. I'm suggesting you wait until you're 17 years old and then you can do it. Tell your insurance company. It shouldn't really affect your insurance that much. But there you go. If you do want to go with insurance, uh, there is an affiliate link below for Byshaw and for a 50cc, you're looking at 500 to 700 pounds, obviously, depending on your location, how you keep the bike, where you're going, what you're using it for. But on average, Byshaw state that it is five to 700 pounds. Uh, if you do go to them via my link, Riding Reviews does get a little bit of a kickback and that helps me to make these videos for you. So, coming out of all of this, if it is a Euro 5 motorcycle, the Yamazaki YM50 has to be remapped at a cost of £99. All the F-Series motorcycles from Yamazaki have to have the front sprocket changed. If you do it yourself, you're looking more at £15 to £20. Scooters are all requiring a remap, but Lexmoto will not give you the remap. Bullet, I don't think they're going to give you the remap, and WK won't, nor will MotoGB. So pretty much the only motorcycle you can de-restrict at the moment in the UK is the Yamazaki YM50 range. But remember, make sure you do it legally. You do it when you're 17, just to make sure that you're not going to get any nasty surprises. Again. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. Hopefully you've learned something and hopefully this is slightly better. I'm working on my retention a little bit at the minute, hence why I didn't add the intro to my video. So we're gonna see how this works. I'm always trying to increase my um, watchability of my videos. So if you do have any suggestions, please comment below and I will read every single one of them. Also, if you've de-restricted your bike and you wanna tell everybody how you did it, uh, just so that they can they know and I may have missed out something here um, comment below just so that you're going to help out the community as a whole remember I do have uh, some merch at the bottom and I do have some stuff on my website if you want to help out the channel buy some of that all revenue streams go back into riding reviews to make these videos better in the future I don't think I've missed anything. If I did, comment below and I will remedy it as best I can. But as always, hopefully you've enjoyed it and ride safe. By the way, if you want to see some more videos on the Yamazaki YM50, there is a link just here. Click them and you will go 